All right, this is fourth grade, module one, lesson 17. <clears throat> and in this lesson, we're really just continuing to practice the standard algorithms of addition and subtraction, but we're doing it inside word problems, making these tape diagrams very, very important. And so the videos, uh, the problems I do in this video, I'll largely be focusing on how to draw the tape diagrams and leaving the standard algorithms up, up to the parents and the teachers. So it says Gavin has 1,094 toy building blocks. Avery only has 816 toy building blocks only. What the heck? Anyway, uh, how many more building blocks does Gavin have? So my first impression is, first thing I notice is we have two characters in this word problem. We have Gavin and Avery. So I'm going to draw Gavin and Avery, and I'm going to draw both of their type tape diagrams identical. And I know that ultimately they're going to be different sizes, but I start off generally in these two character problems um, with the same sized tape diagram. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question again. So it says Gavin has 1,094 toy building blocks. So that tells me this length right here is 1,094. Continuing to read, it says Avery, so really I should underline that right there, good. So then continuing, it says Avery only has 816 toy building blocks. So that tells me this tape diagram is supposed to be smaller than this tape diagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross it off, or sometimes I even use an eraser, and I draw, I erase some arbitrary amount just to show that Avery's tape diagram is supposed to be shorter than Gavin's tape diagram. And this part, we are told, right here is 816. Then the question is, how many more building blocks does Gavin have? And that's this part of our tape diagram right here. So the idea is, what kind of mathematics does this model represent? Well, this whole length and this whole length is 1,094 because we started off by drawing two tape diagrams that were identical. But then we had to make this shorter to result in 816. So the kind of mathematics that this model is telling us we need to do is 1,094 subtract 816. I'm not going to do the math because the important part for this is how to draw that tape diagram and this is just one example. Another word problem, container B holds 2,391 liters of water. Together, container A and container B hold 11,875 liters of water how many more liters of water does A hold than B? Okay, so once again, we see two characters, container A and container B. So in no particular order, I will do A and B, even though container B is mentioned first. So I'm going to just do A and B to be alphabetical. And I'm going to start with both of those tape diagrams being the exact same length. Right. Now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the problem again. It says container B holds 2,391 liters of water. So that tells me this length right here is 2,391 liters of water. Now it says container A and container B hold 11,875. So I'm going to say, all right, that's 11,000. 875 liters of water. But then the kicker, the question at the end is, how many more liters of water does A ha hold than B? So that's telling us that A is actually longer by some amount than B. So the question is, how much is that? How much more? And so our question mark goes right here. So now, here's the deal. How, what's our strategy? Well, the first thing is, what's this length right here that we're missing? 
Well, we know because at the very beginning of the problem, we drew both of these tape diagrams the exact same length. So this is 2,391. So now I see my strategy. My strategy that I see is the first thing I'm going to do, because ultimately we want to know this plus this plus this, these three pieces are supposed to equal 11,875. So that means I'm going to add these two guys together, and I'm going to write that down, 2,391 plus 2,391. I'm going to get an answer, and then I'm going to take that answer and subtract it from 11,875. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to subtract it from 11,875, and the result is going to be, and I should have done it in red, the result is going to be that part right there. Does that make sense? So you have, the idea is read, draw, and write. Read the question, draw some tape diagrams, and I always start with my two characters having the same length tape diagram. And then kind of map out your strategy, and here's this, the solution. One last example. It says, a piece of yellow yarn was 230 inches long after 90 inches had been cut from it. The piece of yellow yarn was twice as long as a piece of blue yarn. Whoa. At first, how much longer was the yellow yarn than, yarn than the blue yarn? So my goodness, this is a tricky one, isn't it? So it says a piece of yellow yarn was 230. So we have two characters, don't we? We have yellow and blue. All right, so let's draw our labels, yellow and blue. And I'm going to begin with both of those tapes being identical. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to read. Now it says a piece of yellow yarn was 230 inches long. After it got cut, it was now twice as long. So the first thing I'm going to do, twice as long as the blue. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of working backwards, is I'm going to make the yellow exactly twice as long as the blue. See? So the blue is one unit, and the yellow is two units. All right? So that's after we've cut 90 inches. So I'm going to say, ah, that's after... We cut these 90 inches off. So after we cut the 90 inches off, the yellow is twice as big as the blue. All right. Now we know how much at first, how much longer was the yellow yarn than the blue. So the idea is we know that this whole length, this whole length was 230. All right. So the idea is we need to figure out this length right here. Well, how do we do that? Well, it's pretty straightforward. 230, subtract 90, and I'm going to do this one because I can. Uh, oops, I need to borrow and regroup from the 200s. That gives me 13 tens, so I end up with 0, 4, and 1. So that tells me that this combined length right here, right here, is 140, which tells me this unit is 70, this unit is 70, and then we also know that this unit is 70, remember, because they're, they're all the same size. So that tells me, the question is asking, at first, how much longer is the yellow than the blue? So they're asking us, and I'm going to do it in green, and I'm going to do it in a slightly thick, thicker ink. They want us to know right here how much this piece is right here, because that's how much longer the yellow is than the blue. And that's pretty straightforward. That's actually just 70 plus 90, because that's this 70 plus this 90. So 70 plus 90 is 160. So the answer is 160 inches. 
And that wraps up fourth grade module one, lesson 17, where we're drawing tape diagrams to solve multiple step questions.